Example 29. The diagram below shows part of the curve y is equal to 2 over x squared. The straight line y is equal to x plus 1 cuts the curve at 1, 2. Let's calculate the volume generated when the shaded region is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis. All right, the very first thing to note with this example is that um, the area um, that is being rotated, it is not the area between two curves. Um, the area is more a composite of the area on the two different curves. All right, so I could literally divide the area into two pieces. All right, so this is where, um, this piece is where x is equal to 1. All right, so the first piece is the area under the, um, under the, um, the graph y is equal to x plus 1, from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. And the second part is the area under the um, graph y is equal to 2 over x squared. And this is from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 4. So in this case, we will not be subtracting the volume of the solid of revolution. What we'll be doing is that we'll be adding the volume of the solid of revolution. So the volume um, for the shaded region would be equal to um, pi, the integral from um, 1, sorry, 0 to 1, from 0, 0 to 1 of um, x plus 1 square dx plus pi, the integral from 1 to 4 of um, 2 over x square square dx. So of course, we normally find them one piece at a time. So let's go for the first piece. We have um, pi, the integral from 0 to 1 of x plus 1 square dx. This is a linear factor. So this is equal to pi. And then we're going to have um, x plus 1. We're going to increase the power by 1, it becomes 3. Then we're going to divide by the 3 and also divide by the differential of the inside function, which is 1. And the limit is from 0 to 1. So this is going to become pi over 3. Then we have um, x, sorry, we're going to replace x with first with 3. So we have 3 plus 1 cube minus replace x with 0. All right, so we made an error. Let's just correct it. First, we're going to replace x with 1. So it's 1 plus 1 cube minus, we're going to replace x with 0, 0 plus 1 cube. 1 plus 1 is um, 2. So that's 2 cube, 2 cube minus 1 cube, which is 1. So what we have is pi over 3, and in brackets we have 8 minus 1. So our answer comes out to be 7 over 3 pi cubic units. All right, so we want to find the next one, and then we'll be in business. Um, the next one is the integral. The next one is pi, the integral from um, 1 to 4 of 4 over x to the 4, 4 over x to the 4 dx. So what we're going to do is let's pull out the 4. We have 4 pi, um, the integral from 1 to 4 of x to the minus 4 dx. So let's integrate x to the minus 4. We're going to increase the power by 1 and then divide by the new power. So what we have is 4 pi here. Then we're going to have um, x to the minus 3, because minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Divide by the new power, which is minus 3. 
from one to four. If we want, we can pull out the minus three at the bottom. We have minus four over three pi. And then on the inside, we're going to have one over x cubed. And this is within the limits from zero, sorry, from one, from one to four. <clears throat> so it's one over x cubed from one to four. So um, remember, the, um, where we got this from is that um, three to the minus Sorry, x to the minus 3 is the same as saying 1 over x cubed. And we did pull out the minus 3 um, at the bottom. All right, so let's replace um, x first with, um, let's replace x first with 4. So what we have is minus 4 over 3 pi. And we're going to have 1 over um, 4 to the four cube minus one over one cube. So we're gonna have minus four over three pi, one over 64. And this is minus one over one, which is one. So one could be written as 64 over 64. So what we have is that this volume here, um, V is equal to minus four over three pi multiplied by minus 63 over 64. All right, let's start doing some canceling. Um, three goes into this 21 times, four goes into this 16 times, so this volume is equal to a negative times a negative is a positive, 21 over 16, and this is pi cubic units. All right, and of course, the volume um, that we're looking for is V is equal to the first volume, which is um, 7 over 3 pi, 7 over 3 pi minus the second one, which is 21 over 16 pi. All right, so all we need to do is just work this out and, and we're good to go. Um, what is the LCM? Something about like 16 and um, 3 can go into it without leaving a remainder. What is that, 48? So our LCM is 48. So we have 48. And the 3 into 48 goes 16 times. So 16 times 7. This is 122, 112 pi minus 21 pi. So our final answer. I'm oh, sorry, it's not true. So it's be 21 times 3. Because 16 goes into 48 three times. So 21 times 3 is 63 pi. So our final answer is V is equal to 112 minus 63. And our final answer is 49 over 48 pi cubic units. All right, so of course, the thing to note, or the thing to note that is different with this question is not the error that we're rotating is not the error between two curves. It's actually the composite of the area under two separate curves, all right? 
And in this case, rather than subtract the volumes, what we had to do was we had to add the two volumes. And our final answer came out to be 49 over 48 pi cubic units.